Hey guys, sorry to speak for a criminal. Anybody who follows me knows I love to carry my shemag, right? And everybody compliments my shemag, asks me questions about it. Um, those who carry it know how multiple use this item is. And it is a great item to have in your kit and uh, to keep with you. And um, you don't necessarily have to go out and buy a shemag or buy a something from a commercial store. You can even just take a, a piece of a 100% um, cotton cloth, you know, and just cut it into four corners and hem it. And you can make yourself one, but you see the dimensions. I'm not sure of the exact dimensions. Uh, I'm five foot seven, so you know three, it's around three, three feet by three, three by four, feet. Like yeah, that. three four feet. But um, one of the uses I have of this, a couple of people asked me to do some videos or something about you know different things I use it for, and I explain that throughout time. And I also show how in my H videos, I show how in each H this has a use and can be used. One thing it can be used for is a way to make an a, a, a improvised pack. We're going to show you how to make a, an improvised, how I make an improvised haversack out of this. A haversack with a strap, with a cover, and that's very uh, uh, durable and will actually secure your gear down pretty good. And the way I do that, I start off, I open it up, and uh, like I said, it, th this is about it's somewhere between three and four feet by three and four feet. You know, well, a little bit, a little bit shorter than four feet, but between three and four feet by three and four feet, somewhere around there. So obviously, if you're a taller person, you might want one a little bit bigger. If you and um, if it's a smaller piece of material, it's not going to work out this well. But uh, if you have something around this size, it works out pretty decently. Uh, what I do is I take one corner and I go to the opposite corner. Okay, go to the opposite corner and I tie a knot uh, with a hundred you know, percent cotton piece of material like this. Even a small little, you know, simple knot usually holds pretty tight and will cinch down and stay pretty well. But the idea is you want to make a small, you want to use as little bit of the corner material as you can to make the knot. That's important because the bigger the knot, the less size you have in the bag. The smaller the knot, the smaller. Now that's going to be, I have corner to corner, so I have, if I lay it down flat, you can see what I got going on there. Corner to corner, okay? Now when I put it over my shoulder, I'm just going to put it on one shoulder. What I have is one corner down in the, on, the, on the outside and one corner down on the inside, okay? You want to have it sitting like that because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that outside corner, not the inside one, the outside corner. But for my height, I usually like to do it to the right about here, right about the middle of my chest. And I'm going to tie another, once again, the smallest knot you could possibly make, but still be secure enough that it's not just going to pop off. But once again, it's going to hold itself pretty well. I want you to make these. If you try this out, I want you to do it once or twice. You'll figure out where you like it to be. There's a specific purpose. I do it right here, and we'll show that here in a minute. Now, the inside corner, we're just going to flip that over the side. And that becomes your flat. That becomes your cover for your haversack. Now we're going to demonstrate here. You know, I got my, we're out foraging today, so I got my wild edibles books. I'm just going to go ahead and slide those into my haversack. Slide that into my haversack, throw my cover over. Got my uh, frying pan. I'll throw that in my haversack. Throw the cover over. I got my, my digging tool. Throw that at my haversack. So it holds a pretty good bit. I mean, I got plenty of room in this little sack alone. So if you're out, you just want a lightweight pack to carry, or if you're out walking and you want to carry something back and find stuff, you can do that. Now, the great thing, the reason why I tied it right here is even though I got the flap open, I have that little hole right here. I can put like my water bottle right there, right there, so it's easily to reach in and grab it. Nothing, the way we tied this, nothing's going to fall out the back. As you can see, the sack was all the way up. So it's completely closed in. The only exposed open area is right here. But like I said, if you tie this up higher, it'll close it up more. If you tie it lower, it'll be wide open, obviously. But, you know, for me, that's where I tie it. I got something that I can open up, and it's a pretty deep sack. Holds a lot of stuff in there. Covered over with the flap. It's comfortable. I can sling it back on my back, walk around. I can take it and put it over my shoulder, and it's comfortable. And 
That's, that's one of the reasons why I carry this Harris hat, because I find myself going out just on some walk for a day, see a bunch of stuff and say, wow, I want to start collecting and harvesting this stuff. Now I want to take it back with me. I don't have a pack with me. Grab my shabak, make a little haversack. It's just a quick, easy way to have a little pouch or an extra pouch, especially when you're gathering and foraging and uh, collecting up resources. So I hope you like the idea. I hope you try out the idea. If you don't have a shmog in your pack, make one, buy one. Have one in your pack. It's a really good thing to have. Start speaking with Earthwalker Primitive. Thank you.